Hello, Darian here. Do you ever have parts that finish up covered with chips just as you're ready to load in your next blank? If so, we got a new way to blast those chips out of the way. We call this the TSC Parts Wash Tool, and I'd like to show you how it works. This tool uses the through spindle coolant system to clear chips from around the part by spraying coolant through four orifices in the face of the tool. Combining this coolant spray action with the rotation from the tool helps remove chips from directly around the workpiece. Besides clearing the chips from your part and vise before reloading, this can be useful for removing chips before measuring critical features mid-program as well. The TSC part wash tool can be used with either the 300 PSI or the 1000 PSI through spindle coolant systems. Let's take a deeper look at how this works. The TSC part wash tool works by installing it into a 5 8 or 16 millimeter end mill tool holder. Now there are a couple ways to operate this tool. One way would be manually and the other way would be to program it. A word of caution though, never run the tool higher than 100 RPMs. This particular tool is not balanced or designed to run at high RPMs. Additionally, running this program at a high RPM would produce a cone-like zone with the coolant spray would not clear the chips as effectively as it does at the lower RPMs. Before you program this tool, you will need to download the VPS template for the TSC part wash tool. We have step-by-step -step instruction detailing how to download and install new VPS templates at HaasCNC.com. We will link to that in the description. Once installed, find the VPS template and load it. From here, fill in the appropriate values in the template parameters menu. I'll briefly explain what each of these options mean. Work offsets. This defaults to G54. I will leave this set to G54, which establishes the workpiece at zero point, the X0, the Y0, the Z0. Start point. This determines the zero point workpiece offset location. For example, if you want the tool to start at the bottom right corner of the workpiece, you would enter four in the value cell. Tool number. This designates the tool with a number between one and 200. Make sure not to select a number that already has a tool. X length. This tells the machine how wide the workpiece is from right to left. Y length. This tells the machine how long the workpiece is from front to back. Z height. This tells the machine where the top surface of the part is. Number of passes. This defines the number of x-axis passes the tool will make above the workpiece. Spindle RPM. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Again, it is important not to exceed 100 RPMs. Feed rate. This establishes how fast the tool will move. Y home. This is asking you if you would like the table to move to Y home after completing the operation. This move makes accessing the part easier for the operator. X home. This is asking you if you would like the table to move to X home after completing the operation. End of program. This controls the end of program behavior. Zero is for program stop, one is for optional stop, and 30 is to end the program. From here, you can determine how you would like to run the TSC part wash tool either as a standalone operation or copy and paste it into an existing program. Press F4 to generate the G code. In this case, a window will pop up asking where you would like to send the code. The insert to clipboard option will send the code to a clipboard and then need to be inserted into a program. The output to MDI option will send the code directly to the MDI and be ready to run. And lastly, the create a new program option allows you to save the code as a program that can be reloaded later without having to re-enter values into the template. I'll be using the output to MDI option. As you can see, the chips have been washed away from the workpiece. Now you have clean access to your workpiece. It's easy to add a clean off cycle at the end of your program using this tool so your parts are ready to go, minimizing operator load and unload times. Additionally, if you're running lights out on a machine that is equipped with a pallet pull, a washdown cycle that clears the whole table can be added before the pallet change occurs. 
Check out some of our other tooling accessory options at haastooling.com. Thanks for watching.